from the campus of the University of Alabama, live sports. From Alabama's sports team, this is WVUA Sports. Look at all these kids in green shirts, and they gave them arrows. It's because it's the regional archery tournament at Northside Middle School. About 350 archers did their best Robin Hood impressions. They are competing for a spot in regionals, and if they qualify there, they could head to the Junior Olympics. Good thing for them. Alabama's Anthony Grant has been right in the crosshairs of fans' ire this weekend. That seat could get even hotter. The Auburn Tigers are coming to town, already owning a win on the Plains against the Tide. A loss this weekend would add even more arrows to the anti-Grant crowd's quiver. I just said quiver on TV. It's just another sign of where basketball is in the state as a whole. Auburn and Alabama have identical 5 and 10 SEC records. In January, the Tigers blasted the Tide by 19 thanks to a combined 55 points by KT Harrell and Chris Denson. Coach Grant says that's where they have to be better on Saturday. Harrell and Denson really did a good job uh, of being aggressive and, and, and scoring and providing their team uh, really good offense and defense. So we got to be able to limit those guys. They're really good in transition. So you have to try to limit them when they when they get um, rebounds and get out. Um, they have the ability to, to knock down shots, so you just have to be solid and you know try to stay in front. One handed pass to Relaford. Right also said that Trevor Relaford won't be a hundred percent this weekend with a thigh bruise. You know, there's nothing quite like Friday and Saturday at the BJCC in Birmingham. That's when they start handing out those trophies at the Final 48. Today we start with the 1A boys. The Parish Tornadoes blew right through, facing St. Jude. Crisp ball movement right here. After Michael Harris to Labarius Hill to Denzel Daly for the hoop. The mascot loves it. But this one was all St. Jude. He didn't love this. Jacob Winston scored 21. St. Jude wins big, 64 to 35. They're the state champs in 1A. Here's a look at the rest of the final 48 scoreboard for the day. Brantley wins 1A on the girls' side. Woodland takes home the 2A girls' title and Elba beats Luverne for the 2A boys' title. Later on tonight, the 6A championship games highlights of Mountain Brook at 10 o'clock. It's going to be a tough act to follow for Sunday's Daytona, after Sunday's Daytona 500, but they'll attempt to do it this weekend in Phoenix. Sunday's winner, Dale Earnhardt Jr., was one of the fastest in practice today. He's already sick of those silly, silly reporters like me who can't even talk questions about how the race will go on Sunday. I don't know what we're going to see. Do you guys got any idea? I mean, I, we all been in this sport for a long time. And I don't think none of us can anticipate what how that's going to work. So, I, I, you know, I'm just going to go out there and run the best lap we can run. We're going to get our car prepared. We need to clean lap. You know, you, your job is to go out there, find a clean place on the racetrack, and run the best lap you can run. Dale Lighton qualifying going on as we speak. Finally, check out the two most powerful people in the free world. President Obama and Joe Biden, they took a jog around the White House to encourage people to get moving as part of a campaign, of course, to end childhood obesity. They look like they're having fun. They've got their water. They're doing their stretching. It's all part of, of course, a balanced lifestyle. That's the president exactly. and the vice president. Are that's doing. what we do every day every right before day. we come so in here. here. I ran uh -huh. around the stadium yeah. before. I don't know if you <laughs> saw me. Yeah, Michelle Obama was on uh, Late Night with Jimmy Fallon last week talking about she was going to get them to do that. There you go. Yeah, so well, they did better. it. Yep. <laughs> all, right. all right. Thanks so much. Well, stay with us. We'll be right back.